some new numbers coming in since the last time that we checked in. November 2010, it was an exciting election night. Diana Duran would be the next Secretary of State, the first Republican elected to the position in 82 years. My passion for 25 years in Otero County was working elections. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. Duran said she wanted to restore faith in the electoral process. Her predecessor, Democrat Mary Herrera, was under investigation for alleged contract kickbacks and campaigning on state time. Herrera lost re-election by a lot. Three years later, the attorney general cleared her of any criminal charges. Meanwhile, Duran was already deep in her first term as Secretary of State, building onto her political resume. She graduated from Tularosa High School and went to NMSU in Alamogordo. In 1979, she started working in the Otero County Clerk's Office. And a few years later, she was voted Otero County Clerk, where she served two terms. Duran was in a state senator for 18 years before becoming Secretary of State, an office plagued by scandal. I'm looking forward to the challenge. That she was happy to breathe new life into, but allegations of corruption are back, this time aimed at Duran. Well, the Secretary of State is the Chief Elections Officer and overs things like campaign finance reporting. Now, Duran is married. She has five children, 13 grandchildren, and one great grandchild. Back to you. The other